Welcome back to the channel, everybody. This is Codations. In today's video, we're going to be diving back into some Cookie Run Kingdom and specifically talking about the top DPS units in the game. We're going to be covering things like the best toppings of choice, how their skill works, why they are as good as they are, and why you should be building them right now. So without further ado, let's dive right in. Diving right in, ladies and gentlemen. So the first DPS unit that we've got, and probably arguably the best damage dealer in the game, I would say would be the legendary Sea Fairy Cookie. Just because she's a legendary, that means her base stats are, are automatically going to be better than Ancients and Epics. And with that being said, she's a damage dealer. She also, when taking a look at her skill, not only provides a mega ton of damage, she also provides a utility, which is going to be a five enemy stun up to a total of three seconds. So again, very, very good cookie here. Very good damage dealer. If you happen to get lucky enough to pull a copy of Sea Fairy, no matter how you get her, whether you farm her manually or you get lucky and get it in the gacha system, absolutely incorporate her on your team somewhere because she's going to be very, very good and she's going to offer a ton of utility and damage overall. So again, keep that in mind. She does massive AoE damage and she also offers a utility of a five enemy stun, which is huge in the PvP arena. So now when it comes to the toppings of choice for her specifically, in my opinion, I think it's better to run a combo set, something like I have here. It's going to be three Searing Raspberries, so we're taking advantage of that three set bonus to get the additional attack percent, but we also are including two Swift Chocolates so we can take advantage of the additional cooldown reduction to just add to the ability to use her skill more often. However, you could argue whichever direction you want to go, you could run her on a full Searing Raspberry set to do a burst, you know, damage dealing comp, which is what is very popular in the PvP arena currently, running her on a full Searing Raspberry set, focusing on those three main important substats, the cooldown reduction, the, ad the additional attack, and the additional damage resistance. You can obviously do that build if you want, but for mine, mine's a little bit more wide open. It's going to be giving her a little bit of additional cooldown to pop off her skill more and still taking advantage of that 3% additional attack from completing the Searing raspberry three piece set now diving into the second cookie we've got on this list and it's going to bring us to sorbet shark in my opinion i definitely think that sorbet shark deserves to be a spot on almost everybody's team especially when it comes to something like the pvp arena because his skill actually changes according to pve content and pvp content in PvE content, he basically hits, you know, the front most enemies. That's going to be his ability or his ultimate skill, if you will. Um, but outside of that, he actually does additional damage to two following cookies or enemies outside of that front line, making him a very, very good AoE damage dealer. And not only that, because he is a base ambush character, his basic attack is also going to be scaling a lot higher than other classes in the game, making him very, very good for a damage dealer, especially one of the top damage dealers in the game. Not only that, when we look at his skill for overall PvP, he's got a very nice utility, and it's going to be called True Damage. As you can see here, it basically says for enemies that are cookies, the additional attack will be dealt as True Damage relative to the enemy's max HP and cannot exceed a certain amount. And it says for other enemies, the additional damage will be applied as regular damage. True Damage, if you guys do not know, means that just basically is damage that ignores the enemy's defense, which again works very, very well here on Sorbet because he's going to be directly attacking most of the time those defense cookies or those frontline cookies that are going to be super tanky. So if he has the ability to ignore their defense altogether, guess what? He's going to be absolutely doing the most damage to that enemy in that frontmost line. So again, very, very good cookie here. As far as overall toppings go, again, I would probably settle up with just a full Searing Raspberry set, trying to focus in on those three main ones, trying to focus in on that additional attack, the additional cooldown reduction, and then the additional damage resistance, because those are just going to add to his overall survivability, the additional attack or damage that he can output, and then last but not least, the ability to use his skill as often as possible. Now, jumping in here to the third cookie we've got for you guys today, and it's going to bring us to Black Raisin. Black Raisin, hands down, is going to be on par with Sorbet Shark. I don't know if we can do a direct comparison in every single type of content in the game to tell you exactly which one's going to take that leader spot 100% um, all the time. I, I've heard both arguments. I've seen Sorbet Shark outplay a Black Raisin, and I've seen Black Raisin outplay a Sorbet Shark. I think it really is going to come down to team composition, your overall toppings and substats, and whatever, you know, your cooldown reduction is going to be on those cookies to utilize their skill and who gets a pop-off on it first. 
However, with Black Raisin, one of the major differences, even though they are both ambushes, is Black Raisin is going to be focusing in on pretty much like the middle row of cookies on the enemy's team or the you know enemies in general, not just cookies. But then you've got Sorbet Shark, which is focused on that frontline tank or whoever is going to be the frontmost enemies. That's going to be separating them out a little bit. With that being said, Black Raisin here does do multiple strikes, which is very very nice. I believe it's four strikes total. If I correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm pretty sure she does four strikes total. Each one of them doing a mega ton of damage because it's counted as a single hit damage percentage as you can see right here which is absolutely ridiculous so if you happen to get yourself a black raisin you absolutely should be building her over other dps units that i have yet to mention Next up we've got, and that's going to be taking a look at the toppings, and I still stand by building a full Searing Raspberry on Black Raisin, just because she's going to be centered and focused around doing as much damage as possible, trying, you know, with it being an ambush cookie, getting in there, doing as much damage as possible, getting back out and evading. With that being said, you want to be doing as much damage or attack, and with that, that's going to be Searing Raspberries. So run a full set, you're going to be taking advantage of not only the substats that you get on, on her, but also the additional 5% from that set bonus from equipping all five searing raspberries again when it comes to the overall substats try to focus in on the additional attack damage resistance and the additional cooldown reduction another really good one for black raisin that is not a bad one to have and that is going to be the crit percent because obviously the more she crits the more damage she's going to be doing on those attacks so again a very very good cookie here definitely make sure that you utilize her if you get her and pull her now officially diving in here to the fourth cookie we've got for you guys today and that's going to bring us to vampire cookie arguably the best single target damage dealer in the game. I don't think there's another cookie in the game right now that can outscale him when it comes to single target damage. He's not gonna be an AoE cookie by default, Pairing him with somebody like Almond obviously can turn him into an AoE cookie, but overall, Vampire is just really, really good. It does a mega ton of single target damage. He's going to be an ambush cookie, just like your Sorbet Shark and Black Raisin, but the one difference here is going to be he's placed in the rear instead of fighting for that middle spot. Again, making him very, very easy to add to any team composition to add to your overall damage. Another thing that makes him very, very good, and that's going to be his ability that's called Vampirism, which basically, as you might have guessed, did, according to the amount of damage that he does, 15% of that is going to come back as HP once he returns back from popping off his ability. So again, now you've got a really strong single target damage dealer, but he's also providing healing for himself, which inevitably a lot of times allows him to live and outlive the other cookies on your team, making him a very, very good damage dealer and a very good option to add overall. Once again, because he is going to be an ambush cookie, I think it's crucial that you're going to run a five piece, um, searing raspberry set because we're going to obviously take advantage of as much attack as possible because that's what he does he's an ambush cookie he's going to evade the enemy's attacks jump across the enemy lines attack the enemy at the rear most for them pretty much sniping whatever their healer is or their support unit is that hangs around in the back killing them coming back restoring some health for himself and he's going to rinse and repeat uh, building him on a full searing raspberry set is the best way to go again focusing on those additional substats of attack cooldown reduction and damage resistance are going to benefit you again when you're building certain team compositions you can obviously focus in on some additional substats you know that, that you want but with that being said for today's video we're just going to keep it plain and simple and talk about just those three but again vampire cookie very very good option don't sleep on him now officially diving into the fifth and final cookie we've got on here for you guys tonight and that's going to be mango cookie mango cookie is going to be fairly new to the game he's going to be a magic user and it's going to be placed in that middle line again working hand in hand with somebody like black raisin and sorbet not only does mango do a ton of aoe damage by pushing out three consecutive waves he also has a slight variation on his skill or a hidden mechanic which is going to be able to push back the enemies or knock them back and temporarily basically make them not use their skills which is very very huge when it comes to building out just damage dealers in the game and picking and choosing on who to run on your team not only that on top of him doing the aoe damage they are also going to be providing a 10 percent attack buff for your entire team up for up to seven seconds which is huge because it's just allowing all of your other cookies to do more damage a very very good option here when it comes to overall toppings for mango cookie 
Obviously, running a full Searing Raspberry set is going to be ideal on them, just because you're going to need that additional attack percent from those additional sets, the three and the five set piece. And then last but not least, you're going to be focusing in on those three main substats once again, that a cooldown, additional attack percent, and the damage resistance, especially when it comes to the PvP arena. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is going to conclude today's video on the best damage dealers in the game that you should absolutely be building if you happen to pull one of these cookies. And same thing goes for working towards getting some damage dealers to replace the ones you currently have. These are fantastic options. As always, guys, drop a comment down below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this list. Do you think that I should add or remove somebody on this list and why? And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you get notification every time we drop a video. And I will see you guys on the next one.